So last time on the Guru Brew Tech Show, this is a cutting board, and one of the viewers said I should use a cutting board to mount my circuit board to, and I think that's a good idea. So these parts, hopefully I can come up with a plate, so I should be able to use this wire. So there it is. There is the completed ribbon cable, and I think it looks pretty neat. Okay, it's time to figure out where to cut this cutting board at. So I'm just going to mount it up here. This sits in there pretty nice. So really, if I just cut it off right here, you know, I think I'll be good. I'll probably just use my wood saw, my uh, table saw, just cut that off from the same distance here to that ridge. That's what I'll do. And as far as my cable that I made, this cable should be long enough to go out the back either direction. So if I have it mounted like this, or if I have it mounted like this. I think I'm going to go this way though because the fan's going to be here and it will blow across these heat sinks that I don't have done yet. Anyway, it'll probably go like that. And I've got to make some standoffs. Use some plastic uh, spacers probably. I'll come up with something. I could always 3D print something if I had to. I don't think I need to do that though. Sorry about the background noise. I'm thinking... I should cut this even shorter because look at the fan. So if I cut it so it came up to say here, then the fan would not be blocked like that. I don't think that's a good idea to block that fan. Yeah, I've been looking through my bags of screws trying to find enough parts to get this to go together. One day maybe I'll get these organized. Anyway, I think these will work. They're like... Less than 632s. Do they make a 432? I don't know. Anyway, I have to match the holes of the circuit board. You guys have collections that look like this too. So I think this is my rough layout. I've been playing with it. There's a circuit board that I cut the handle off. So it's kind of a pain. I gotta mount the cutting board and then I have to mount the circuit board up on, you know, something standoffy so I took these off the ends of the wires you know these are those crimp ends I think I'll use those for the standoffs so I have to mark this up and drill some holes fun stuff I love rivets. So this wire I cut a little short and I'm just lengthening it. Done. So these are the two main power cables for our DC. And I will zip tie them up after I attach that fuse holder. While I'm here on the back side, I thought I'd worry about my 
plugs that I want to have back here. And the, these will be switched plugs for like a spindle or vacuum system. And they'll be controlled with those big relays. And you can control it right from the computer. I've got this uh, set already mounted to a metal base. This is something that was scrapped off another piece of equipment. Actually a darkroom timer is what it was. But I think I can use these receptacles and if I cut this out right here, you know, I should be able to mount that right in there. And I might be able to just cut this plate down so I can use the plate too. Because as you probably already know, squares are hard to cut without a mill. I could set my CNC up but I think I could cut this quicker by hand anyway I'm gonna to try to fashion this to fit down here somewhere and then I'll have two relays controlling uh, two different mains plugs So here's a little tip when you're doing, you know, filing or drilling on metal objects around electronics. Take a magnet like this. This was just a magnet, I think, off a speaker or something. And put it near the place you're going to be drilling. And all the filings will stick to the magnet. And I also blow out the case afterwards. But uh, it's just good preventive, you know. You don't want your your circuit board around metal filings, that's not a good idea. Okay, so I have my modified panel that I've been working on. I cut the end off, put a couple holes in there, and I made this bigger with my grinder. You just seen me do that, my rotary tool. These are kind of nice. These just uh, push in. And they already have wires on them, which is nice. And they're two different colors, which I like too. So one of them will become probably the vacuum system, and the other will be the spindle, you know, the router. And, uh, Yep, they pop right in. With any luck, they'll fit in the hole I just made. They even have grounding wires on it, so I like that. Looks like I'm going to have to trim a little bit off this side yet. It's pushing this way. Yep. All right. Made my hole a little tiny bit bigger. Should go in now. Should. Hell, should. This hole on the bottom, I'll be using that to run the, the uh, probe for the Z probe. You know, my zero probe. So I'm going to take some of these rivets. And drive them in, and we'll be done with this part. I'm still thinking about painting the outside. You know, the outside is that old 80s looking, or even 90s computer. You know, the white, how it turned yellow. It's not real yellow, but uh, I think it could use a facelift with some paint. Let me know what you think about the colors of paint that I should use. You know, 
I mean, it's not real important, but uh, why not? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I love these things. Rivets, whoever invented these did a good job. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Then I'll, I'll find a grommet to go around that wire probe. Or I might just put a connector there too, then I can unplug it too, right? Yeah, I'm liking it. Now that all the metal work's done, I've got my plugs in. I'm going to put it back together again. So, I think the plugs look good back there. And I'm going to call this quits for now. I'm taking off and going on mini vacation. And my wife and I really need it. It's been stressful and uh, I'm glad we're going. Anyway, um, the cutting board looks good. I've got it on standoffs. Where's my finger? There it is. Standoffs with plenty of clearance. I've got the power under control with the fuse that will come out the front. Where's my front? Here. So here's my front panel. And I thought about putting like a giant light, you know, like this one coming out the front. I've got these LEDs, but uh, I don't know if I'll use those. And let's see, what else? The power switch is in the back. I could put another one here if I wanted to. I don't know if I need to. And I'm thinking about the connectors for X, Y, and Z. What do you think of that idea? I haven't uh, thought of that really. I mean, here they are here and we've got z y and x and then all the pins here for like my probes and my stop switches and then there's a few more connectors here and we'll talk about those in another video but uh, all those pins i want to come out so maybe these pins and these pins for the stops to go out that last panel in the back right there and then x y and z here there'll be six or eight pins and come right out the front maybe have some heavy duty screw connectors or din like a nine pin din would do it but uh, i don't know maybe i can find something a little more heavy duty if you have any ideas for those connectors let me know they'll have to handle up to uh like five amps i think it would be and I'm going to stop it for now and uh, give it some thought. I'll show you the back one more time here. So there's the back of it. And like I said before, I can right in this panel put my connectors for my pins for my, my, um, my travel stops, you know and like I said earlier this hole is going to have a connector for my probe for um, your tool change probe my plugs that uh, I've been messing with today for my spindle and my vacuum there is my input fuse and the main switch and the power connector and the fan which is sitting here and I gotta figure out what kind of fan I want to use Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy this series of this build and uh, are following along. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. We like reading those. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That helps us. And we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.